What up, internet? Corinne here, and you are watching Corinne vs. Pin. It is fucking October. Yes, rejoice. You know what that means? It's starting to get a little colder outside. All the fucking stores have Halloween stuff, which for me is everyday stuff, so super exciting. <sighs> this is me living my best life right now. We, of course, have been asking you what Halloween decorations you want to see us take on, and one that was suggested a bunch of times was the good old glow-in-the-dark spider egg sack. Now, I'm pretty partial to the Martha Stewart version of the spider egg sack. She kills it at Halloween. I fucking love her. So what I'm gonna do is meld the two together to create the most badass spider egg sack decoration ever. Watch out. See bits of spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Poor itsy bitsy spider. <laughs> First off, y'all know this pin is a goddamn lie, right? There is no way that this was achieved by using a water balloon, a glow stick, and a stocking leg. Sorry, sorry to burst your little spider egg sack bubble. We have a much better plan than that. Kind of. Hey there, Target. Let's do this. She's got legs and she knows how to use them. Okay. Hmm. Maybe these will work for what I'm trying to accomplish. And if not, we have more wine glasses. Usually a good thing in my household. Real talk. Are we getting this today? I don't think so. No. Focus. Hmm. This would be a lot easier. I could just buy this and pretend like I made it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. No, let me enjoy my Halloween, bitches. It's gonna be cute. Ages three plus. That's me. <laughs> Halloween costume for this year. Check. Fucking Target. I went there for a bag of plastic spiders and I came back with all this fucking bullshit I didn't go there for. Damn it, Target. And then I had to go to Michael's, which is just as bad as Target. God damn it, Michael's. I don't need these orange ones. Uh, why can't I just find a bag of fucking spiders? I definitely don't need them to have little fucking jewels on their butts. Okay, I'll admit, these fuzzy ones are kind of cute. So yes to these. And maybe these can work? Fuck, I don't know. I need a lot of fucking spiders, you guys. Oh, and I know I got those wine glasses, but I'm thinking these might work better. So I'm gonna get some of these. Plus they're on sale, so. Oh, and I also need some of these glass bead thingies to go inside whatever vessel we decide to use. But I'm unsure of what color to get? Damn it. I'm gonna have to get both. Maybe I can mix them together? Fuck. And this project just got expensive real fucking quick. <laughs> anyway, I also acquired this LED light kit from Lowe's like a fucking boss. I know you may be like, what's so fucking exciting about some lights? Listen, these are battery operated, remote controlled LED fucking lights that are gonna fit in my little egg sack pod that I'm gonna create and give the illuminated effect we're going for. Do you know how much of a pain in the ass it would be to try to turn on something that wasn't remote controlled and battery operated especially if you wanted the decorations for more than just Halloween night we're going all month here I need these things to work more than once and luckily I found a bag of spiders that I got from Target last year so that's good news hopefully this will be enough to achieve the spideriness that I'm going for okay so I thought I had this really great idea to try and cut a hole in this plastic ornament that would be large enough to fit the light into, but that proved to be a lot harder and a lot fucking scarier than I was originally anticipating. Holy shit. I thought I was gonna cut my finger off. This is not a good idea. Do not try this at home. Not only did I ruin a perfectly good fucking Christmas ornament, but it just didn't work the way that I wanted it to. Nope, not at all. Trial and error. Trial and lots of error. <laughs> yeah, then I thought maybe I could just glue the light on top of the ornament like this, but that just looked like shit once it was inside the stocking. So that didn't work either. Error and error. <laughs> Am I right? So I'm thinking the wine glass glasses are the way to go. Not the first time wine glasses were the answer in this house. I need to get out more. See, what I do is I test these things out for you so you don't have to make the same mistakes. We're gonna save a lot of plastic ornaments this year. Okay, so first I am adding a layer of the clear glass beads because the blue glass beads just didn't work out. Now I'm gonna have to return the ones that I didn't open back to Michael's. Shit. 
this. Now I'm just gonna add one of my lights and then kind of place some beads around the sides of the light to make it stay in place and kind of mask it a little bit. And then I just topped it with some more glass beads. Yes, motherfuckers, this is gonna work. P.S. I plan on hanging mine inside, so I'm not really worried about them breaking, but you might want to use a plastic version of said wine glass if you're worried about breakage. Yeah, so that's my disclaimer on that. Anyway, now I'm just simply hot gluing some spiders to the glass. I like to keep it glassy, you know what I'm saying? Next, I balled up a little bit of prepackaged spider web fluff and glued some spiders to one side of it and then stuffed that into the bottom of one of my stocking legs. Next, I just gotta squeeze this glass glass in there and it's a little difficult but with enough perseverance it can be done. Okay <laughs> then I just topped everything off with a little bit more spider web fluff. It's gonna keep everything in its old place there. Yeah I'm pretty fucking happy with this shit so I repeated that process five more times for a total of six spider egg sacks. Yeah, you like when I say spider egg sacs? Here, how about a picture of some real spider egg sacs? Yeah, get up in there. Oh, you don't like that? I'm so sorry. Deal with it. Okay, so yeah, here we are. Now I just have to glue a bunch of spiders to the outsides of the egg sacs in kind of a random fashion. <laughs> we're in business, people. I do wish I had more of the small spiders, but we're just gonna have to fucking deal with it, aren't we? These fuzzy ones are my favorite, though. Hey there, fuzzy pants. <laughs> Love you. Okay, I think these are spidery enough. Let's see how they look hung up, shall we? Yes, I like it. But uh, can someone get the lights? Thanks. Here goes nothing. Oh, yes, motherfuckers, these things are legit. What? That's right. But that's not all. Oh no. I had some leftover glass beads, so I decided to draw little baby spiders on the flat part with the sharpie, and bam! We have some about to hatch spider eggs. Taking it up a notch. It's all about those details. You know what I'm saying? Then I used some of these spider decals that I got from good old Tarjay to create a terrifying spider takeover of the office. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this room. Yeah, I feel like I'm fucking winning Halloween right now. So. You better keep up, internet. You better keep up. All right, so now that I've made these things, I actually have a pretty good understanding of how the lights in this picture were achieved. It definitely didn't involve a balloon or a glow stick, and no stocking was part of it. I'm pretty sure it was something like this mesh that the glass beads came in. And I'm pretty sure there's glass beads in the ones in the picture, so interesting. Spider egg sack. Huh? Pretty fucking creepy, right? Story time. I actually ate a spider once. On purpose. Wrap your mind around that. It was still alive as I was putting it in my mouth. It was wiggling. Fuck you, person who made me do that. Well, keep tuning in for more exciting Halloween shenanigans. Speaking of Halloween shenanigans, we are giving away three Threadbanger boxes. Just go to this website or the link in the description to enter. It is for US residents only. Sorry, mates. We'll get you next time. And we're announcing the winners on October 12th. October 12th. Hard to say that word, 12th. We are so excited about this Halloween box. We just got the first one in and it's so cool. Makes me wanna cry a little bit. Um, actually, the next video that comes out on Threadbanger is gonna be featuring all the shit in the box and we're gonna be doing one of the DIY projects that are featured in the box, so don't miss it. That should be coming out this weekend sometime. I also just uploaded a new video to my personal channel, which is fucking crazy because that doesn't happen often. It's the first ever episode of Corinne vs. Beauty. Go check it out if you want to. And until next time. <laughs>